Hi everyone and welcome to today's German Hospital Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. Let's get to today's video. Woo! Alright, so at the Haunted Star, Johnny and Lulu, uh, no, Johnny asks Lulu, starting out strong, um, after Valerie's gone, what's the plan for her and Dante? Uh, she says, you know, with her gone, her and Dante can figure out uh, what they can do to move on and save their marriage. And Johnny says that that would be a mistake. And Lulu says everything she's doing, she's doing for Rocco. And <laughs> she's she kind of gets tense with him after that and doesn't talk to him a lot. Um, at Robin and Patrick's, uh, Maxie rushes over to welcome Robin home, but Robin isn't home. Uh, Maxie tells Patrick to find a way to get past his guilt so he doesn't miss out again. And Patrick doesn't want to pressure Robin into a reunion, and Maxie talks sense into him that Robin never wanted to leave or divorce him. So it really wouldn't be pressuring her because uh, she... she she didn't want to leave. <laughs> uh, at the Metro Court restaurant, Kiki's at work. Uh, she uh, tells Morgan she spent Christmas with Ava and Avery to bring Avery over to the Corinthos Christmas. And Kiki's at a place where she will tolerate Ava for Avery's sake. And Paul is having a drink at the bar. Dylan confronts him about hurting Tracy. Uh, Paul tells Dylan that he and Tracy had no expectations in his relation, you know, or relationship. And, you know, his relationship with this other woman is fairly new. And Dylan says, obviously, he and his mom mean nothing to him. And then Dylan calls him Paul instead of dad. And Paul doesn't want to lose the progress he and Dylan have made. And Dylan says he made it by fine without him this whole time. So he'll be fine. At the hospital. Oh, and then Maxie shows up to talk with Dylan. Because apparently he had texted her so he didn't confront Paul. But uh, <laughs> Maxie never got back to him. Uh, at the hospital, Dante and Sunny run into each other. And they talk a little bit about Christmas. And Sunny kind of gives Dante... A bit of a lecture on how to handle his situation with Lulu. And he tells him to stop rationalizing and put that energy towards fixing things. And Dante walks away and he says he has stuff to do. Uh, Mac gives Sunny an update on Raj. And uh, Morgan overhears Sunny talking about shutting Raj down. Elsewhere in the hospital, Hayden tells Nicholas she would miss him if anything happened, and he says that they should start trusting each other. And Dante comes in and wants to question them separately. And uh, Curtis calls Hayden and says that he has the ballistics report, and the bullet matches Sean's gun, proving that he didn't shoot Hayden. And Dante's ready to question her, but suddenly she was so emotional, she doesn't remember exactly what happened between Jason and Nicholas, and she just wants to talk to Nicholas. So, yeah. Uh, at the bridge, Jason recognizes Robin. Robin fills him in on her capture and everything. Uh, Jason knows he owes her his life, and he feels he did nothing to save her, even though she did everything to save him, and she says he's the reason that she has a life to get back to. And Robin talks about being on the bridge with Stone and him bungee jumping and her HIV diagnosis, and then meeting Jason on the bridge as Jason Morgan when she had previously known him as Jason Quartermain. Um, he says he's a different person now, um, but his friends don't understand, and he feels everything is one-sided because everything is stories to him, not memories. And Robin delves deeper into their history of how he helped her make the decision to have a future. And Jason asks what happened between them, and she says he wanted a life she could be a part of with Sunny and she didn't hold it against him and she was going off to study in Paris and she tells Jason that she has faith in his future. At the police station, Jordan has a date for New Year's and Valerie has bangs. I just thought I'd add that because they look really good on her. I, I want bangs. Maybe 2016 will be the year I get bangs. I do want to do something fun with my hair as long as 2016 is going to be like a bam year. But anyway, I, I have gotten off track. <laughs> um, Jordan tells Valerie it's good she has put her inappropriate relationship with Dante behind her. Ha ha. Uh, not really. And that there was no lasting damage to her career. <laughs> okay. Uh, Curtis sneaks the gun back into evidence with his friend's help. And he asks the front desk guy for the commissioner. I'm laughing because for some reason it auto-corrected to the front swag and that's not what I was trying to say. Um, and he tells Jordan that he isn't going anywhere and Valerie asked Dante if they could meet up today 
so she can give him a present and Dante tells Valerie that he and Lulu had good moments over the holidays and Valerie's like you know what I see where this is going and I'm doing what I should have done a long time ago I'm bowing out Oh, too late now, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, end scene. So Valerie says their relationship is a slow-moving train wreck, and she's ending it for both their sakes because she's so noble. Um, she doesn't want to ruin her career for something that's hurting both of them. Oh, that, that ship has sailed. So many transportation metaphors. Lulu says that she would have thrown down with Valerie herself if there was no Rocco, and she's fighting for her family and getting Valerie out of the way with the best weapon she has, Johnny, which that's a compliment. Uh, Morgan overhears the exact details of what's going down with Raj. One second. Maxie talks Dylan down and invites him to come meet Georgie, and Hayden tells Nick that she said she was overcome with emotion and that's why she couldn't remember details clearly and he and Hayden kiss and want to spend New Year's Eve together and blah 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 oh by the way it's New Year's Eve on General Hospital uh Jason remembers Robin from back in the day yay memories oh this is such a good side and Robin arrives home and Patrick and Robin are so close to being officially back together and I'm so excited so it looks like oh oh if you like today's video Please give it a thumbs up. It means so, so much. And if you could also check out the link to the Save Our Sanctuary campaign and donate a dollar if you can. But also, I'll say this. I, okay, so even though Valerie's bowing out and, you know, she's not causing trouble between Dante and Lulu anymore, but Lulu's plan is already in place, so she's going to get her career ruined. Personally, if I were Lulu, I wouldn't feel too bad about it because, I mean, I don't know. I Just everything Valerie's done even after the initial, I, I don't know. I I'm kind of excited, but whatever. <laughs> I I kind of want to see Valerie's career ruined a little bit. She messed with my Lante. And I know Dante had equal part in it and whatever, but, like, come on. It's, it's a good plan, and I kind of want to see it blow up in her face, you know? Because <laughs> I'm a bad person. Nah, I'm not. We all are. It's okay. <laughs> but, so what do you think? Do you think that Lulu should feel bad that this plan is going to blow up Valerie's life even though ba Valerie has now nobly bowed out? Or do you think that when this, you know, does blow up Valerie's career, she deserved it anyway because of everything she's done thus far? So that's your question today. Your moral compass. Really search it, okay? Um, I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!